Some drinks beer, this is a beer review. So, the beer today, it comes from Polly's, based in Wales. Now, I bet you're thinking, what style of New England IPA am I going to be reviewing? Is it going to be a standard New England IPA, a New England Session Pale, a double New England IPA, a triple New England IPA, a quadruple New England IPA? You'd be wrong on all accounts, because in fact, the beer I'm reviewing is a Russian Imperial Stout. Yes, that's right. A Russian Imperial Stout from the Pale Specialists for Apollis. It's called the Rivalita. I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly. I picked this up on my travels in Cumbria, believe it or not. So yeah, a Welsh beer from Cumbria. <laughs> I found a little bottle shop in Ambleside called Beer Ambleside, when I, which is near sort of Lake Windermere. So if you're ever in that area, worth checking out. And what a few beers. Didn't get round to drinking this one. I wanted a few beers to sort of drink at the cottage, and I sort of, I there was a couple, there was two Polly's beers that jumped out at me. And one was a barley wine, which I thought, well, it's not very Polly's esque. And then I saw this, and I thought, this is an Imperial Stout, Polly's from Polly's, an Imperial Stout. Because like most of their beers tend to be sort of New England style pails and IPAs. It's, you very rarely see anything else really for Polly's, do you? So, and don't get me wrong, like, that's not a criticism. I think their pails and IPAs and dippers, tippers, etc. are among the best in the UK. So that's definitely not a criticism. But yeah, I'm interested to see how good an Imperial style they can make. So, that's... Yeah, it weighs in at 9.5% in a 440 mil can, so the price tag it was £6 from the aforementioned bottle shop. Um, so a lot of malt on the initial um, can opening. I'm a big fan of uh, Russian Imperial Stouts, actually, so I'm looking forward to this. So, yeah, a lot of maltiness on the, on the nose. A little bit of coffee. I mean, the malt really sort of dominates. Maybe a slight sort of fruit. Sort of dried fruit or sort of plum flavour, smart sort of smell. <laughs> Tripling it everywhere. The cat's just pulled up next to me on the radiator. He's just come back from the cattery, so he's a little bit clingy. But yeah, just really malty. You can also smell that you can also I know it's nine and a half percent isn't really a crazy ABV for an Imperial Star, but you can still smell a hint of booze as well. But yeah, it smells like it smells very sort of robust, sort of proper sort of no nonsense sort of Russian sort of non adjunct Imperial Star, which I I'm a big fan of them sort of beers. So let's Let's dive in. Hmm. It's surpri surprisingly hoppy, actually. It's got a real hoppy sort of flavour which I wouldn't normally sort of associate with these sort of beer. Yeah. Sort of quite nutty as well. But well, I'm surprised by the hoppiness. Mm. 
there's um, you know, the malt sort of continues through. Little tiny bit of coffee. It's interesting. So that interesting sort of hoppy flavour. Hmm. I suppose we are talking a brewery that specialises in hop forward beers, so it's not, I suppose it's not to be su a surprise really, but they've done an Imperial Stout and it is quite hoppy. Got some quite nice sort of mouth coating as to the body. Kind of reminds me a bit of the sort of the Kernel stouts really with the sort of the hoppiness. But very malty. A little slight bitterness. Very nutty. A little bit of coffee. Not getting that fruit, slight fruitiness I got on the nose in the flavour. It's yeah, it's not. I wouldn't say there's like a huge amount going on, but the flavours are very prominent. Like it's strong. It's full of flavour. Like even if there isn't sort of maybe that many different flavours as you get do get in some of these sort of imperial styles. Like, but at the same time, there is a sort of level of sort. Of, I mean the. Finish lingers. Sort of the hoppiness, sort of nuttiness on the on, on the finish does really linger here. Is it the thickest imperial stout I've ever had? No, no, it's not. But there is a good mouthfeel to it. Like it's got a sort of good a little sort of bit of carbonation which sort of pushes it around the mouth and. It does really coat the mouth, it's really mouth coating, it's got a sort of like a delicate sort of mouth feel. Let's see what Polly's have to say about this Imperial style on their can. Not a lot is the answer. It says the Rivalita, Russian Imperial style, nine and a half percent, no nonsense. There you go. Oh no, that's interesting. It says nine and a half percent on here. But lower down, where it has the sort of the drink aware stuff and the units and sort of Polly's website, store called Drink Fresh, says, I don't know if you can see, it probably needs to focus. That's eight and a half percent. That's not really focusing, sorry. Go on, focus. So we get a bloody focus on it. Just take my word for it, it's not. <laughs> the crap, I'm still recording on an iPhone. I'm not making the big books from this shit. To have a sort of whole setup like others do, so <laughs> yeah, but yeah, it says eight and a half percent, three point seven units. So that's that's interesting. That a bit of a discrepancy there. Uh, so it's either nine and a half percent or eight and a half percent. I have to say, there's no booziness on the taste. There was a little sort of alcohol smell on the sort of nose, but there's no sort of level of booziness. Let's pour a bit more in. An interesting one. It's not going to be interesting when a brewery does something that it's sort of a bit out, out of their, maybe their comfort zone. But it's, a, it's a really good Imperial style. It reminds me a little bit of brew. One brew York did a few months ago, Dradis. It's got a sort of a similarity to that in the sort of the. Well, that didn't have a hoppiness to it. 
No, the hopefulness now I've poured a bit more on it. It's less prominent than it was at first. It's. I said earlier, there's it it more things coming through now. It's sort of. It's quite layered. Yeah, now it's. Hoppiness has gone. Since I've poured a bit more into the. Into the um, glass. And the malt is just. Boof, dominated. This is a really interesting one. I can't work it out. Yeah, I like it though. It's it's really good. Uh, you know, it's good to see that police do have a bit more in their locker. Yeah, I really like it. And it's an interesting beer as well. It's got... I don't know... If... You know, what hops are in this. If, you know, usually they're not really... Big sort of thing, but... Yeah, it's a good old school imperial stout. This oh, I like an old school imperial stout. No, don't get me wrong. I love the sort of pastry imperial stout packed with like I don't know donuts and cake thrown in, and God knows what else and marshmallows. That's another one you have one in it. Like, but you know, sometimes they're just a bit they're a bit much sometimes. And it's sometimes nice just to kick back up like a let the malt do the talking. Let the you know, all the hops in this one as well give it a bit of bit to it. But let just you know, let, let the brewing sort of create the flavours and you know, I have you know tons of respect for this sort of style of beer, like and sort of when a brewery just sort of makes sort of manages to make sort of a complex sort of imperial style with you know bring all sorts of flavors out like like i said there isn't like that many different flavors but it is so full of them the ones that are there and you know the malt and the hops in this are really sort of you know creating something sort of making a sort of really sort of good beer and it's you know and I think it really shows the skill of the brewer when they can do that and the fact that Polly is you know are very much known for their pale beers the fact they've managed to come out and make this a really good imperial style it, it shows a lot about their ability as a brewer I mean we all know how good Polly's are we all know they are one of the best IPA New England sort of style Beer brewers in the UK, they're up there with Verdant and, and Dayer and Cloudwater and everyone else, you know, we know what a good brewery they are. And they've just, you know, they've reinforced that with this beer, and I have to say the barley wine I had by them was good as well. I didn't think it was as good as this, but it was still a good, solid beer. So, and they've apparently they've done a bitter as well, I've, which is interesting, because there's a bit of a bitter revival at the moment, so I'll have to try and get tried out, but... Yeah, this is good. And what I also love about Polly is just they have such a consistent sort of brand as well. You all you always recognise a Polly's beer when you see it on a shelf. It, you know, as the the teardrop. You know, and then a bit of sort of abstract art. It, you know, whenever you see a Polly's beer, you know it's a Polly's beer. And I think that's really. I think it was, you know the other day I was listening to. I think it was the Craft Beer Channel podcast, and they were saying, you know, how not many sort of craft brewers have sort of like a sort of consistent sort of brand. And I think Polly's actually are one that do because they always have this sort of design where it's just like a bit of abstract art with like the big sort of with the teardrop on it. And so, yeah. Anyway, back to the beer to rate this. really like this it's one that's getting better with each sip more flavors are coming out 
you know, it's a really simple yet complex Imperial style, which seems like a bit of a weird thing to say, but I don't know how to describe it any other way because it's on the, you know, there's not that many different flavors, but they're sort of doing different things. If that makes sense, it's it's. You know, the body is good, even though it's not it's not the thickest body, but it's it's a good body. You know, it's a really good body. Like it does a lot with sort of like a medium body, and the mouthfeel is really good, and the flavors are just phenomenal. Don't think it's quite a five. Possibly just lacks that. It's a bit thicker, maybe it'd be a five. It just that's probably the only thing stopping it being a five. I think it's a 4.75 on the tap. That's gonna be my rating for this. I think it's excellent. So yeah, thank you for watching. Pardon me, God. I think this is a bit too fast. I think because there's so much going on. Um Yeah, so thank you for watching this one. Uh please check out my other videos doing one to two a week it's i do want to be trying to be a bit more prolific but we'll see how that goes um if you like this video give it a like if you dislike it give it a dislike you know I'd rather you be honest uh subscribe hopefully trying to build on the 24 subscribers i have so far um yeah check out my instagram that's doing a little bit better we've i think we've it just hit 9 30 on the instagram on followers so yeah give us a follow on that some drinks beer yt add us on taps i'm very close to a thousand um unique check-ins now and the rate i've done it at it probably um makes you think i need help <laughs> but yeah no that's some drinks beer 93 for my untap so add me on there and i'll hopefully catch you on the next one cheers